Dean Berlin, Dan Kobach, Bethany Coulter, and the Pharmacy Residency Expansion Grant Program for allowing me to be here today. I am deeply honored that I can be here to share my thoughts and the value that I have towards my residency training. Also, thank you to Kevin Fulgen and Nora Flint for supporting me throughout the past few months of my residency training. Without you, I would not be standing here today. My name is Yvonne Wong. I'm a PGY1 resident at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois, a pharmacy program that recently expanded uh, from seven residents to eight due to this research foundation. To start out, I would like to share my inspiration and how I got introduced to, to the profession of pharmacy. Both my parents were born and raised in Vietnam. My dad had a long-standing passion to go to pharmacy school, with my grandfather being a physician. My father also wanted to be in the medical field. On the day of my dad's entrance exam into pharmacy school, the Vietnam War draft was initiated and he was called to serve as a male to represent his family. His brother volunteered to take his spot in the war and my dad was able to take the entrance exam a few months later to turn his admission into pharmacy school for another year. My father attended pharmacy school in Vietnam for five years and then practiced for several years more before coming to America in 1975 to start anew and come to the melting pot full of opportunity. Among the many obstacles that he faced when coming here, my dad's pharmacist license was only eligible in the state of New York or at government affiliated hospitals. His siblings were in Chicago, and therefore he decided to come back to Chicago, start fresh once again, and go to pharmacy school at the University of Illinois, round number two of pharmacy school. My dad is a true inspiration for me for being so dedicated to a solid education. Both my parents uprooted their lives and moved to a different country where their future was unknown. But they did know that they wanted to give their future children the opportunity and the freedom to become whomever they wanted. Most importantly, to provide an education to their children. My parents gave me the opportunity and the inspiration to create a future for myself, full of helping others and the aspiration to reach my full potential. All throughout my childhood and teenage years, my dad would talk about his day of work, quiz me about his medications, and update me on various guidelines. <laughs> Pharmacy times would be the mainstay at the coffee table, while my dad would always be sitting on the couch reading up on his CE credits. So I started working in the retail pharmacy setting at 16 years old, and by interacting with these patients in a direct way, I knew that I wanted to go into the profession. My dad is now a pharmacist still at Walgreens for 33 years and counting, Still at the right stage of retirement, so he still wants to keep chugging along. So getting into pharmacy school was a major accomplishment, both myself and my parents. To show them that their dream for me to have a solid career and to be independent was finally on their horizon. That when they came to this country, for it was worthwhile. Their, their daughter finally made it and had a large white envelope and letter to prove it. During my fourth year clinical rotation, I had the wonderful opportunity to be at Rush University Medical Center for my oncology rotation. While on rotation and rounding with a multidisciplinary team, I immediately developed a passion for hematology and oncology. I was able to conduct chemotherapy education and help patients more thoroughly understand their treatment plan. It was during this rotation that I knew that I wanted to complete my residency at Rush, and I made sure that both Kevin and Nora knew how, who I was come application time. So this time last year, I was among the hundreds of fourth-year pharmacy students anxiously talking to various programs at mid-year. Seeing all the rest of pharmacy students clamor through the residency showcase and frantically ask their questions prompted me to question myself. Was I going to get a residency? Would I match? Where would I end up? Would I get an interview? What happens if I don't get an interview at all? My classmates among the other pharmacy schools in the country would be my, would be my competition. Are my grades enough? Did I volunteer enough? Will I enough clubs? Did I go to enough meetings? How does my resume look to directors? Did I stand up on paper? Anxiety spiked when the match time came around. Where would I end up? I got together with a few of my closest pharmacy school, school friends the night before match day, venting about our anxiety and where we could potentially be in the next 12 hours. I woke up the morning of match day, March 22nd, 2013, purposely late to avoid having to stare at my phone there were rumors about when the match time results would come out. It was either 7, 10, or noon. <laughs> so we had no idea. But I can tell you that I may or may not have an email day from 7.22 in the morning. <laughs> with the match results. <laughs> um, and that shortly after, I might have received a 
voicemail from uh, a phone call and a voicemail from Dr. Nora Flint at 728. <laughs> 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 a voicemail that changed my life, my future, and everything forever. By the way, still have that voicemail. <laughs> downstairs to my parents, my parents calmly drinking their coffee in the morning, my dad getting ready to leave for work, and all I was all I could do was scream and cry and tell them that I got into rush. My dad wrapped his arms around me and just smiled and laughed and said how proud of me he was. His radiant smile, supporting me through the years, through all the stress and hardness of school, during rotation, the application process, interviews, and all the tears that came along with it. It's an amazing feeling. A feeling of cloud nine, and I'm reliving it right now. It's pure happiness and triumph. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a few minutes later, I received a phone call from my best friend, a tearful crying friend saying that she hadn't matched, one of the smartest people that I knew, and without a doubt, thought would have matched on one of her top types of residency programs. A week later, she ended up matching during the scramble, and she could not be happier. So how has residency changed my life? And how has this additional position changed my life? So every time I come home to visit my parents on Sundays, we always talk about what I do at work, how my call shifts are. He's, my dad's always excited and enthused to hear about my call shifts. And he's and I always explain the various chemotherapy agents that are out there, that I rush to code blue, and that I do connect to those things. I know that he's proud of me and the direction of our profession, the full spectrum of retail pharmacy to the inpatient side. How much pharmacy has evolved over the past 30 years? The various counters that I have seen throughout my residency training have included seeing a patient upon admission undergo a bone marrow transplant, did medication reconciliation, followed him for a hospital for over three weeks, and discharged him. It was a very rewarding feeling to see the patient go home on only a handful of medication with minimal complications from his transplant board. By doing this, I was helping the patient better understand his regimen at home to increase compliance and prevent complications. Another encounter was a night that I was on call and was requested to do a sexual assault kit patient counseling. This was one of the most difficult patient encounters for me, and I couldn't help but feel her pain while I was walking to her room in the emergency department. I addressed barriers and counseled the patient in order to increase compliance and explain the adverse effects. I connected with the patient on a humanistic level, and in this instance, to solidify all the reasons for me going to pharmacy school and completing a residency. She was great for my counseling, and I helped ease her anxiety. During my time as a resident at Rush, I have also seen the multidisciplinary teamwork. I have felt the true value of being an integral component of the, of the team, and I feel challenged on a daily basis. From the attending asking for recommendations regarding how to optimize the patient's blood pressure regimen and anticoagulation treatment upon discharge to a heart failure at fellow asking how to dose the drops in. Not only do I feel that I'm making a positive impact to patients every day, I feel truly valued. As I come to a close, I would like to say that I'm thankful for the many opportunities that my parents gave me when they came here for being able to give me an excellent education and to fulfill my passion to become a healthcare professional that makes a direct impact to patients. And most importantly, I want to send a thank you to the ASHP Pharmacy Residency Expansion Grant Program for allowing me the opportunity to complete my residency at Rush and for funding an additional PGY-1 position for this year. Without your generous support, I may not be a pharmacy resident at all, but because of you, I have been given the opportunity to become a clinical pharmacist and make a positive impact on a daily basis. And because of you, my passion to become an oncology clinical pharmacist is possible. Thank you, ASHP, and thank you, sponsors, for your involvement in the Pharmacy Residency Expansion Program. You have not only changed my life,